Howdy Cowboys and welcome to a new tutorial, new tutorial, it's a, just a tutorial to tell you how to get the most out of your laptop uh, because I saw I got many new subscribers because of the Fallout video and I wanted to show you how to get the most out of the laptop to play games like this. So first you need, I hope you watch this and you have at least a dedicated graphics card like uh, Nvidia or AMD because you need the graphics driver. I only can show you the Nvidia graphics driver because I don't have an AMD laptop. But when you have this control panel from Nvidia open, you can change some settings. For me, it takes a while to open. Okay, so here we see we have, I have three things. Some people have more, I only got three. And we need to manage 3D settings. In this settings, you can make the global settings and I leave it like this, auto-selected, because some programs don't need my NVIDIA pro uh, processor, they can use my integrated graphics from Intel. But we can go here to program settings. Some games don't use the NVIDIA graphics card. They uh, automatically choose, I look for the one but there is none, uh, they automatically choose the integrated Intel graphics card. And that's bad, we don't want that because it don't has the power to play this game. So we can change it over here. We can change it to high performance NVIDIA processor or integrated graphics. And here we can change some more stuff like interlacing, turn this off. You can make the same settings, multi-display performance, performance, maximum performance. I prefer maximum performance. You can make a uh, prefer consistent performance or blah, blah, blah. I got a message, I don't care. So you can make it the same like this, here quality, high performance, it's normally on quality and I see a difference when I change this in my graphic settings and we close this, close it, okay, yeah, that's one thing. The other thing is, in some games, for example Fallout 4, we see when we go to documents, uh, where is it here, my games, Fallout 4, I have some backups. You can change preferences in the ini file from Fallout and other games. You just, I don't know if every game has these files. Sometimes I don't find it for some games, but the most games have it. You just Google the ini files and you can read shadow distance. You can lower all the settings so you get better frames. And I put some settings in the video description below so you can plug it in because some settings you just have to plug in, you don't change it, you have to put it in. And here you can change all the stuff, like the resolution. You see, I play on resolution a uh, height 450 to uh, so it's 800 to 450. That's pretty small, but I have it on my TV, so it's the same size like my laptop screen. I don't care. And it runs pretty smooth. Most times you don't use, uh, blah, 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 you don't use the windowed mode because windowed mode takes so much performance always try to play the games in full screen because it runs better so i show you here in fallout 4 i show you in the options you can change a little bit when you change it to low you you still can change something in advanced because when you press low this is still ssao is still activated you can deactivate this and fxaa you can deactivate this it gives you a little bit more um, power. <laughs> frames. Okay, frames, that's the word. So, and if you want to have lower resolution, because in full screen you can only go to two, uh, to 720p, and I don't like it, it runs smooth when there is no light, but the light in Fallout 4 takes so much power that you cannot run it smooth on this laptop. So you make windowed mode. I don't like the borderless windowed mode because um, you cannot move the window around it. It's always on the left top corner on every screen. So I leave the windowed mode without borderless. Less? Wow. So yeah, you can change this. And it gives you a little bit more frames. Uh, for all the other users who don't have a dedicated graphics card and use the Intel HD graphics, you can change some stuff here too. When you go to your 3D settings, here you can change it to performance. It will give you a little bit more of frames. It's not much, but it's a little bit. So yeah, I hope it helped you a little bit. I put the settings for Fallout 4 in the description. And yeah, another thing to boost a little bit is right now I defragmentate my hard drives. So I get a little bit more loading speed. 
because when you defragmentate your hard drives, all the files get sorted in your drive and the drive can read it faster, the hard drive. So here's a good uh, software I use, Piriform Defragler. It's better than the normal Windows defragmentation tool because that I don't think it works. So I use this. It is already working on my hard drive like uh, 20 hours. <laughs> so it took a while, but I will see a difference. And yeah, you can see some other stuff here too. So yeah, no. Um, yeah, that's it. If you liked it, give a like. If you have some other questions, I try to help you. Just ask in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Bye.